Yellowstone Volcano. Half of U.S. population warned of Mother Ash Cloud, revealed. Yellowstone Volcano is set to unleash the mother of all ash clouds during a major eruption that could cover half the U.S., according to a documentary. The Yellowstone Caldera is an active supervolcano beneath the states of Wyoming, Idaho and Montana, which has experienced three super eruptions in recorded history, 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago and 640,000 years ago. This has led some to claim the next super eruption is imminent, but the United States Geological Survey USGS, continues to monitor the volcano for signs that such an event is imminent. Amid the speculation, Naked Science's Super Volcanoes documentary reveals what could happen on that terrifying day. The narrator said in 2013, Within an hour of a major Yellowstone eruption, pyroclastic flows could surge across the countryside and engulf Jackson Hole and Livingstone Valley, some 50 miles away. Within a 60-mile radius, 90% of the remaining people would be killed, some blown to pieces in the initial blast. Most would suffocate from the heat of the pyroclastic flows, but that was just the beginning. The ash cloud that blew across the state would be the mother of all ash clouds, an airborne mountain of deadly particles and debris. The series then reveals what would happen to the ash that was thrown up. It adds, Yellowstone National Park is home to a recurring supervolcano, an eruption so large that if it happened again, it would destroy almost everything within a 60-mile radius. A major Yellowstone eruption could send ash 15 miles into the atmosphere, and its impact could cover half the U.S. Three days after an eruption, the skies would be dark and deadly. Based on what scientists predict, we've put together a picture of what the country might look like after three days of ashfall. The series explains why the ashfall has had such a global impact, grounding flights and destroying homes. It continues. Weighing six times as much as wet snow, wet ash would cause roofs to collapse, clogging air filters in cars and airplanes across much of the western US. Any plane in flight would be at risk of crashing, its engines clogged with fine particles. When Mount St. Helens erupted, the swirling ash particles in the atmosphere produced lightning that ignited numerous wildfires. A supervolcano could ignite hundreds of fires, with the worst hit areas being 500 miles downwind from Yellowstone as far away as Salt Lake City and Denver. While the threat of an eruption is still a reality, the USGS has previously reassured people about claims of it being too late. Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientist Jacob Lowenstern said in 2014, when you see people claiming it's too late. Usually the numbers they put out say the last eruption was 640,000 years ago, but they actually erupt every 600,000 years. But, in reality, if you average out the eruption intervals, it's 2.1 million to 1.3 million years and then 640,000 years ago. If you average out those numbers, you get a result that's over 700,000 years. So, in reality, even if you try to make this argument, it's not going to happen for another 70,000 years.